Welcome to Rapid Resizer. To use the picture stencil maker, click here. If you are a paid subscriber to any level of Rapid Resizer, log in so you can print your design to any size across numerous pages. Go to where it says Load a Photo and click Choose File to upload your image. If you are going to enlarge the image, try to use the highest quality image possible. I've uploaded this photo of a blue heron. So now you can see there are four tabs to experiment with that each create different effects. Click on the first tab, Edges, to get a general sense of how it will transform your photo, and then you can fine-tune it with these two sliders from dark to white and sharp to soft. The blue wheel rotates as each command is processed, so wait until the blue wheel disappears before you make another change. Play around and move the sliders just a little here and there to get the effect you want. Now I'll click on the Thin tab, and that isn't close to what I need, so I wouldn't bother to fine-tune it from here. For example, if I'm wanting to use this to make a watercolor painting, I just need an outline I can transfer to paper. The Threshold tab creates a very different effect, which I can alter further by using the sliders. This would be good for a different type of project, and when I click on Adaptive, it also creates an image I wouldn't experiment further with. Each photo will use the tabs and sliders quite differently depending on the amount of light and dark in the photo and the clarity of the subject. Let's try another one. I am going to try each of the tabs and sliders with this photo of a cat. It's quite a dark photo, so the first two tabs aren't what I need. The last two tabs have an outline option that only appears when those tabs are being used. In this particular case, that option doesn't work for me, but again with a different photo, the outline option might be the best thing to use. And for this photo, the adaptive tab created the best effect. You don't just have to use a photo in the picture stencil maker. You can upload any image to transform its lines for all types of projects. I'm uploading a geometric pattern here that I want to make a stencil with. The adaptive is too dark as is threshold, thin is too light, and so I'm going to go with edges. So I'm ready to go to the print resizing page. If you're using this as a free tool, it will say download or print on one page, so you can click there to do so. If you want to print to any size, then you can click on this button to subscribe. If you are subscribed to the Rapid Resizer program, click the green print button to go to the resizing print page. Before you choose the measurements, you may need to edit your image using some of the tools in the drop down menu here where it says customize your design. You can rotate or flip your design, which doesn't apply to this pattern because it is symmetrical. For each tool, click apply changes if you would like to keep the changes and click skip if you prefer to leave it as it was. The crop tool is important to use to remove extra white space from your design so that your measurements will only apply to the object in your image. The reflect tool will reflect your image horizontally like this or vertically or both, which is helpful for making a symmetrical image. The Save Ink tool can be used to invert the black and white aspects of the image. And like the tabs and sliders in the picture stencil maker, all of these functions will work differently with each image depending on the white and dark balance. All of these options can create really interesting effects. Once you are finished customizing, then enter your measurements here. The blue lines show how your image will print across numerous pages. If you want your design to keep the same proportions as it resizes, be sure that the proportional box is checked. If you need the design to be a specific size and the proportion is less important, then uncheck the box. If you want your design to stay intact and print on a single page, then click here for fit page. You can also resize it by part, so if I was using this design as a stencil and the only specific measurement I needed was for the center to be 30 inches across, then I move the yellow line to cover the center, scroll down to the bottom and input the size it should be. Then the rest of the design will be measured accordingly. This is wall mural size, but I could have just made the center half an inch and again the rest of it would follow suit. Here is the option to resize by percentage. And you can also choose whether you want the pages to be numbered, which is helpful when taping them all together. When you choose the paper size, be sure that your printer is also set for that if it is an unusual size. There are other options you may be interested in using here at the bottom. If you choose to have no border, be sure that your printer is able to print without borders. When you are finished, you can download your resized project as a PDF or an unsized PNG or SVG file. You can also email it or click print. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial on the Picture Stencil Maker and that it helps you with your creative projects. Thanks for watching.